Hey, it's Amanda. Hi, I'm Sarah. This summer, what you can do did a campaign about the oceans. So we were lucky enough to have over 84,000 people in our online community come together to help us celebrate the oceans. We teamed up with the Monterey Bay Aquarium and the Parker Manatee Aquarium, and we covered every topic from red tide to sustainable seafood to global warming, marine mammals. We basically kind of covered it all. I've been going to Sarasota, Florida for almost 30 years, and when I first heard about Sunni down there, I think I was 12, and I've become obsessed with the big guy ever since. A couple years ago, we went and we were lucky enough to meet Marilyn, and I was just blown away with all of the work that they've done to rehab them, and basically, Snooty is the boy that helps with that process. So working with Parker, we were able to put all of this information out there. We learned a lot about how climate change has affected um, our environment and the environment in the ocean. There's still so much to explore and to discover. One of my favorite things about this campaign is that the topics that we covered let me see things that I kind of take for granted or don't think too much about in a whole new light. So for example, I love to eat seafood. Any kind of food from the ocean, really, I love it. But when we learned about the Sustainable Seafood Program, um, it showed me ways to keep on enjoying seafood, but without basically depleting populations from the ocean, which is fantastic. It was great. I got to go to Monterey Bay Aquarium and talk with some of the experts there about their seafood watch program and one particular woman who went plastic free for a year, which was amazing and so inspiring. And that actually inspired me to have an event this summer. And I think it was really successful. I think everybody kind of got the message of reducing plastic pollution. I feel that the oceans are important because the ocean isn't just something that you sit by when you're on the beach. Um, it's an entire universe filled with life and every single thing that we do to affect the oceans will come back to us eventually because we're connected to it in so many ways. So one of the major issues that I am super passionate about is trash on the beach. We grew up going to Wellfleet, Massachusetts and it was always pristine, it was beautiful, they had these lovely dunes. And then when I went in high school, it became like a trash playground. So now when I walk a beach, I bring a bag, and it used to be for seashells, but now it's to pick up trash. So my favorite sea creature is probably sea otters, because have you ever seen the sea otter? They're the most adorable thing ever made. Obviously my favorite is manatee. My favorite marine mammal has always been whales. I would have to say that my favorite marine animal is a sea turtle, especially the big ones. They're often victims of bycatch and plastic pollution, which are big issues in the ocean right now. It's kind of like we can't see what's going on beneath the surface, so we don't understand how big the problem is. I mean, the ocean was healthy before humans started polluting it and overfishing, so it's really our responsibility to save it. Maybe take a minute every day do something that will help it, hopefully we will be able to turn the situation around. Even if it's just one small step at a time. We've had a great summer and hope that you've learned as much about the oceans as we did.